go around and... Yes, yes. If anyone else is looking for balance in their life, you can borrow my car. And I got a cactus. And why did you pick the cactus car? Because of my dreams. Because of his dreams. I don't feel like I feel in. I still need to believe in myself. My name is David, but uh, I want to first of all to appreciate all the parents who are here because the sacrifice it takes for a parent to be here and spend all this time together. And we clap for the parents out of the house so that you don't watch your favorite program, but you just come here to be with us. It's amazing. So can we clap for the young people? Uh, it has a giraffe and some trees, a very simple message. I love anything outdoors. Whatever happens outside these buildings, the four walls out there, whether animals, whether trees, whatever is out, I love it. For you young people, it's a very good beginning uh, because it really introduces you to the, uh, the world of working and the world of uh, giving back to the community. You are giving back to the nature. Okay? So whatever you do today may have a very, very far reaching uh, implication. Uh, even the future generations. This one reminds me of Mount Kenya. Now, mountains, <coughs> for people, is actually where we thought of where we did that our gods stayed, our gods stayed, and uh, we always look up the mountain to pray and look for guidance from our gods. Ooh, tell us about it. It looks like cloud with a. Yeah. Again, again, again. It's a card here of flowers. Those are like to blossom and shine in the whole world. Next, my name is Rahema and I chose the hourglass because it reminds me of how much time I spent working on things that are very important to me and also how much time I should be spending um, having fun and enjoying my life and going about things that really won't make a difference. My name is Anne and I chose a sewing machine because um, really just funny find it because I always have to sew my clothes together but really um, it's because I like fixing problems so whenever I'm in a situation I like to make it my job to be able to fix what's going on. That's the first one of me and that's <laughs> Loving and caring. These are cycles and they are interconnected, as you can see. So, I want always, I've always wanted to imagine a world that people got along with each other, they live in harmony, and they would be interconnected like this, and then would have no problems in this world. times in life I've found myself paying so much attention to the closed doors, but now more than ever, I'm just so intentional of looking at the open doors. It's so many of them if you look around, so let's not waste, uh, waste a lot of time looking at the doors that have been shut behind us, but look for all these open doors. Friends, if we were to wake up one morning, clear our minds, and look at our lives, not through the lens of Western consumer culture, but through the lens of ecology. And by that I mean a deep awareness of our relationships with not only people, but everything around us. 
what would that look and feel like? The late rolling thunder, Native American, Western Shoshone wisdom keeper, used to say that our inner nature is a miniature of the natural world around us. The same forces at work in nature are also at work in us. And we can learn about our own nature from nature itself. For example, in nature, if water flows across the landscape in the same place over and over, a ditch is formed. Likewise with us, if what we pay attention to is allowed to regularly flow across our brain map, a habit is formed. By way of nature-based metaphors and analogies, like the above example, when we begin to see patterns in nature mirrored back to us, we start to realize that we each have a meaningful place in this world. I call it our unique eco-niche. By consciously aligning with our eco-niche and letting it speak to us, we can begin to grow into true adulthood. By that I mean, we know why we were born, who we are as distinct individual participants in the web of life, and how we creatively occupy our unique position in this world. It is at this point that we are able to give back to nature and culture in fulfilling ways that embody heart and meaning. We begin to notice that when you nurture nature, you are nurtured. It is for these reasons that I encourage you to participate in this Earth Based Wisdom Level 1 program. Much of our experience will be to develop ecological restoration skills at a time when restoring the health of the earth has never been more important. We will focus some attention on how life's processes work, energy flow, cycling of materials, and interrelationships. You will also have opportunities to deepen your feelings for this beautiful planet that is our common home, and even start to rediscover, rediscover your unique.